update, update. It's been so long since I made a video. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we've been in the middle of nowhere, and Brian's phone, which was a source of internet, so I have a free government phone, and I have a little, another phone that AT&T is trying to charge me for, and I do not owe for it. Not happening. Eh, my bell. Anyway, so I use my old phone that I own and paid for as a camera to make these videos, and then when I get on Brian's Wi-Fi hotspot, or I used to have a tablet that I would use for the Hot Watts hotspot and uh, get connect. So I lost all of those resources. My phone, Brian's phone, it's shaped like a horseshoe now. And so this one. And luckily, I am camped next to some really good friends of ours that let me use their hotspot. So, super lucky that I had that as an option. Yay! Uh, caravanning this week with said such good friends, Chris and Debbie. Chris and Debbie! And so we're all caravanning around together. Um, I didn't make a video, and I wished I had. We went to Miller Bar Campground, and it is like way down. It's right off the Chetco River. It's on BLM land, and it's free dispersed camping for 14 days, and it's like down a hill, down, 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 down. I should have took pictures, but I didn't, and the water was like crystal clear, flat, like glass. I mean, it was called Miller Bar Campground. Um, then we left. We've been a couple places. Ooh, the wind is kicking. I'm at the coast, and it's rocking the motor home. So, um... We're at Brookings at the jetty, and there's a parking lot area where it says no overnight parking, but there's this whole huge other parts where you, we saw other people, and it's great. And we stayed there last night, and then we thought, well, we'll go up to Bandon. It was so windy and cold, we came back down, and so we're going to stay here for a few days. It's beautiful. I'm going to make a video right after I get done doing this and show you a little bit about where we're at. But so that's where we are, that's where we've been, and we're about right out of gas. So we're posted up mostly stationary till the first, and the water pump went out. So we got to figure something out about water. We only have one little bit of water, it's not going to be enough. So, um, and I don't have a bunch of jugs. My friend said she'd give me a gallon, but it, that's not really the solution taking her water. So, um, we'll overcome those hurdles, but yeah taking her resources isn't the solution so here we are at the jetty in brookings oh i listed uh spoon rest i'm clay let's talk about clay so some of this stuff looks good y'all like i got a decent response and so i made some big spoon rests you know that were oh here i'll show you right Tote, tote of stuff. So, I got the purple. Bling. It's this little purple spoon rest. Right? With a little butterfly. Pretty. And you've seen all these others. I've gone through all the motions. But I made a couple of new ones that are littler. And they're super pretty. And they're cute. So, they're the size of a teaspoon or a soup spoon for your coffee in the morning. So, they're little. See? And that one's like a monarch butterfly kind of vibe. And I really like this little blue. Ooh, it's pretty. So those are pretty. And then I mixed it up. And I, so I did spoon me. It says spoon me down the side. And then I was having a hard time lining it up. So I did it to where it's in the middle. It says spoon me. And then I decided they were coffee spoons. Going to be going in the little pie so coffee and then I had a little piece of clay left over and I made a stamp that I hope is going to come out good it's still drying and curing I mean, so it's a little coffee cup and I thought that would be cute like the butterfly you know the little coffee cup Boop. so I made two of them that's one of them and that's the other one I think I'm, I like this one better if it transposes, if it comes out in the translation like I want. Um, oh, and I did this one, blue, but I'm having a hard time getting the blue to stay, so I'm on like 
my eighth layer of paint. Two layers on this one. Bing, bing, done. Spoon me. But see, it's still ugh, washed out in the middle. And then I, I did a beige one. It's kind of like skin tone. Anyway, and I did dark letters, and it came out nice. I like it with the black. It's like a creamy coffee. Spoon me. So there's that. That's what I did there. And I added some background color to boo -ba -doo -ba -doo. this and Debbie's the reason I thought about it because I was like do you want one for your motorhome because I mean you're like so limited on space you're not really trying to collect a bunch of stuff and so I was showing her and I was like it's so big do you want that on your counter and she's like yeah I just use it for my coffee spoon in the morning and I was like oh I should make you a little one and I thought lots of people want a little one sweet so oh and I painted the background of the embossed heart I think that looks kind of groovy. So I made another one. I had a little bit of clay. Just a little tiny bit of clay left over. So I made one. It came out so thin. So, and it's embossed with that same pattern. And I, but I put the hole. And then I decided I would do other shapes. Originally in my mind, I was thinking I would make some groovy floral embossed earrings. Ooh la la la. But I don't have any of the findings or any of the stuff. And... I'm not trying to start a whole new project. Right now, I got two blocks of clay. So, I made all what I could from two blocks of clay. One gray, one white. I used the gray for the spoon rest and I painted it. But the white, um, I think I'm getting a really good... I put an ad on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm getting a really good traction response to the clay. And to the garden markers. I'm putting this under my bench. So, um, I put the ad up today. Uh, one lady already said she wanted to buy this. So, I'm going to recreate it because the colors worked. It's super pretty. And then, um, I had an offer to come and be a vendor somewhere. And a lady told me, asked me questions about custom stakes. So, that maybe some things coming together in the mix. Talking about make some money. I'm going to make some money. I need your money. I need some money. So, and I want to make a video for my grandson, Rogelio. I need to get with it. Water pump went out, though, so I can't wash my paintbrushes. And so I don't want to get my brushes dirty and ruin them. And I don't want to use up my water. And so I don't want to work with clay because I don't want to be able to not wash my hands. And I don't want to use up the water that we have just... Because I wash my hands, like, so much, and the brushes so much. I really consume more water than I would want to use right now. So, I'm going to put a pause on that. The house is about to get weird clean because I can't work on this. And so, what I end up doing is washing the walls and the windows and the ceiling. And it gets, like, super tidy. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I uh, just started my second week of chemo pills. Seem to be doing okay. And I lost a lot of hair recently. This is getting thin. Ever since the stitches were rejected and they came out, feeling way better. I think that's all the things. Yeah, I think so. Uh, consultation for ovary surgery. Gonna happen, gonna do it. Thank you, Nancy. Peace. Love. Now I'm gonna go take some shots of where we're at and I'll put it at the end. It is so freaking windy. Brr. We went up north. It was too windy and cold. So I came south. Okay, here we go. Ah. So, there's the bridge. Right there. That's the bridge. And you can see Gold Beach. So, all this area. Okay, so, not my car, but all of that is parking, and I don't want to show that, because that's my companion, I'm not trying to show their license plates, but this is it, and I don't think this has, it has a name, I'm sure it does, the Jetty at Gold Beach, anyway, at Gold Beach, ooh, it's pretty, Brian just went for a walk. He saw some sea lions. Holy crap. Did you see the grass blowing? Yeah, it's like that. Oh, here this way. Zoop. Oh, 
Now, last night, <coughs> gosh darn it, last night I parked right there. What a killer spot. And everywhere you look, there's these poppies. They're closing up for the day. But they're so, just so beautiful. I'll get some pictures in the morning. Y'all have seen poppies. But anyway, I can't see too many. Can't ever get enough, huh? I can't. Man, these chemo pills stole my energy. It's not fair. It's, oh god, the dizzy look down. I'm gonna pause. That's my breath. Ew, not touchy seagull poo poos. Here's the jetty at Gold Beach. And that's where I'm camping tonight. I lived there once for six hours. I don't like to focus that time. Okay. So, this is Jen from the Jetty. I'll <laughs> see you guys later. Check it out. Full rainbow. Bam! Sitting in my motorhome. There she blows. Woo woo hoo! It's gonna be a good day, eh? <laughs> <laughs>